For the late Ron Santo, the three most important things in life were family, baseball, and the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Today, those three things came together at the Westin Hotel, Michigan Avenue. ABC 7's Frank Matthey tells us about it. The Westin Hotel, Michigan Avenue couldn't wait for tomorrow for opening day. They had theirs today. A brand new suite was dedicated, the Ron Santo Suite, room 1000. Ron Santo Jr. helped cut the ribbon, and then the tour was on. It's a look at the Chicago Cubs' perfect 10. The pictures that we picked out were, you know, I think special pictures that uh, during his playing career, I know he enjoyed and liked, and, and again, the black hat, the famous black hat photo. A Ron Santo jersey from the 1969 Almost Champion Cubs and many other quick trips back into the Cubs' past. A video produced by Ron's son Jeff called This Old Cub tells the entire Santo story. But this is more than just memorabilia. It's also about raising money for Santo's favorite charity, JDRF, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Every time this suite is booked, $100 of that suite will go directly towards JDRF. Also, $100 will go towards JDRF when the Cubs are at home and win that home game. The suite rents for $600 a night, and you get plenty of goodies to go along with it, including this video. It's all part of Santo's never-ending JDRF fundraising. He helped raise more than $60 million because that's really the net result of all of the 34 and going uh, Ron Santo walk. Here in the hot corner of the Ron Santo suite, we find this great old photo of Billy Williams and Ron Santo from the early 1960s. These two guys played 2,100 games together. In the suite's small hallway or hall, pictures from the 60s and 70s. It's a nice entrance, you know, for the uh, fans to come in and, and the, hall. Uh, the hall of yeah, yeah. And, uh, well, well, I guess that's a good idea. We, we'll name that. <laughs> yes, he has raised over 60 million for JDRF, and he's still hitting home runs. Frank Matthew, ABC Seven News.